Good morning. Today's Mass is being offered for Andrew Zorn. Kindly join in the entrance antiphon. It may be found on page 799 of the Missals. The innocents were slaughtered as infants for Christ. Spotless, they follow the Lamb and sing forever. Glory to you, O Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Today we commemorate the holy innocents, those young children martyred in the place of Christ at the earliest days after the Magi's coming by the King Herod, desiring to be filled with the same grace with which the martyrs were filled. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whom the innocents confessed and proclaimed on this day, not by speaking, but by dying, grant, we pray, that the faith in you, which we confess with our lips, may also speak through our manner of life, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, this is the message that we have heard from Jesus Christ and proclaim to you. God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him while we continue to walk in darkness, we lie and do not act in truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, then we have fellowship with one another and the blood of his son Jesus cleanses us from all sin. If we say we are without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we acknowledge our sins, he is faithful and just, and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from every wrongdoing. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. 
He is expiation for our sins, and not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world. The word of the Lord. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Had not the Lord been with us when men rose up against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when their fury was inflamed against us. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Then would the waters have overwhelmed us. The torrent would have swept over us. Over us then would have swept the raging waters. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Broken was the snare and we were freed. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. praise you, O Lord, we acclaim you as God. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the Magi had departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, take the child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I tell you. Herod is going to search for the child to destroy him. Joseph rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt. He stayed there until the death of Herod that what the Lord had said through the prophet might be fulfilled. Out of Egypt I called my son. When Herod realized that he had been deceived by the Magi, he became furious. He ordered the massacre of all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity, two years old and under, in accordance with the time he had ascertained from the Magi. Then was fulfilled what had been said through Jeremiah the prophet. A voice was heard in Ramah, sobbing and loud lamentation, Rachel weeping for her children, and she would not be consoled, since they were no more. The Gospel of the Lord. In our first reading, St. John tells us that God is light, and in him there is no darkness. And on Christmas, that light shone forth in our world through the body, through the flesh of the Christ child, God with us. But at the dawning of that light, the darkness, the darkness was angered and consumed by that darkness, consumed by the power of evil, Herod, the so-called king of the Jews, sought to snuff out the light. He sought to snuff out the Messiah whom the Magi came to adore because he viewed the Christ child as a threat to his power, to his reign, to his way of life. And consumed with fear, consumed by that darkness, he orders the death of all the male children two years and under in the village of Bethlehem. In the scriptures, 
and indeed in the ancient world, we see this sad dynamic at work. In the story of the Exodus, Pharaoh is consumed by the same darkness and fear. He's afraid of the growing numbers of the people of Israel in Egypt. And what does he do? He condemns all of the Israelite children to death to protect his reign, to protect his power. In other regions of the ancient Mediterranean world, child sacrifice was practiced. And it was believed that by sacrificing children, a better future, a better tomorrow could be secured. That's the work of darkness. That is the work of evil. And sadly, it's at work in our world even to this day. When out of fear, when in that darkness, we look upon the next generation as a threat to our way of life. We see that in our own nation in which many forces believe that it is a right to terminate a pregnancy to secure a better future, to live the kind of life we want to lead. Despite that darkness, despite that violence against the most innocent children, the light is not conquered. The light shines. And we remember those children slaughtered in the place of Christ today as martyrs and as victors, as gathered around the throne of God in heaven. And that should give us hope that those victims of violence, those victims of abuse, especially the children in our world, children that have to flee as refugees, as Christ did, that they will be consoled that they will be filled with light, that they will receive their consolation with Christ, who knew their suffering, who knew their difficulties, and who now reigns in perfect light in heaven. Today, in a special way, we commend all the children suffering in our world, victims of abuse, victims of violence, victims of dislocation to the loving mercy of God. May we invite that light into our hearts and may the darkness in us be scattered so that we become instruments of peace, the peace of Christ. Turning to our loving God, who called the holy innocents to be conformed to him in life and in death, we lift up our prayers and petitions. For leaders of this church, clergy and lay, may their partnership continue to demonstrate to the faithful a fellowship with one another that inspires goodwill and fosters actions of loving service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For those in war-torn countries, may they take courage in the assured hope that Christ has won the victory over sin and death and that his light casts out all darkness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For those who are contemplating terminating a pregnancy, may they open their hearts to God's grace and come to recognize the child within as a gift from God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all members of this faith community, may we foster fellowship with those in our families by performing loving acts of service and seeking forgiveness when necessary. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died marked with the sign of faith, may God grant them eternal rest and may perpetual light shine upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. And for most especially Andrew Zorn, for whom today's Mass is being offered, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the children of our world enduring violence, oppression, persecution, that they might know the consolation of the Christ child, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for a man by the name of Larry dying this day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, look with kindness and favor on your holy people who cry out to you in their need. Hear and answer the prayers we offer, for we offer them in and through our Lord Jesus Christ, the light of the world, who lives and reigns forever and ever. creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your devoted servants, and purify us as we faithfully serve these your mysteries, by which you grant justification even to those who lack understanding. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you, 
and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us from sin. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, the judgment and condemnation of all the things who believe in this redemption by the water of your word. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Kindly join in the communion antiphon found in page 799 of the Missals. Behold those redeemed as the first fruits of the human race for God and the Lamb, and who follow the Lamb wherever he goes. 